What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Simon Says, and I'm here with another crypto technical analysis update, right? Check play. We're in the Cryptoverse DAO, so if you haven't by now, come check us in Discord. We have live sauce. That's all I'm going to say. The bull market, is it back? Look at these support tests. One, two... We came below it one day, stayed below it. The Fiody pump engulfed, you know, three tests. And now we've come right back to the same point of confluence, right? This is a big, big, big point. We don't need any lines except for one, right? This is the trap door. This is the trap door. If we wanted to, you could even see now I'm asking you to use your eyes and just connect, like, you know, how a line look, a channel. So we see this new channel range, right? We see that it's horizontally um, coming in place. Will the bulls actually end up holding this? We don't, you know, technically need to test it. We don't technically need to test it. What we did with these two wicks as the port, we came over and tested this wick, right? We, we stayed above it horizontally speaking. And now we could, you know, come to test this upper, you know, range of the channel, which leads us to own 28K, 26K, 25K. These horizontal resistances, right? 25.3, 26.5, and 28K on the head. So now we have our <clears throat> bearish outlook with our targets from the last video. Now we can kind of get more of our bullish side perspective and, and see what will happen if this really does pop that falling wedge that we had yesterday, right? So simple, we're gonna put on some of the lines and we're gonna check it out. It's a little cluttered on the daily chart, but it's pretty much like gold right here, right? So we have the huge, you know, macro ascending triangle that the bulls are trying to now V bottom from as they did here with this structure, right? V bottom just didn't break out. It faked out, retraced. Now it has to do another full um, 786 retracement. You know, we'll probably be around here and bust it through for 25K. Simple, right? That's the long-term outlook. Because we see, you know, <clears throat> the bigger structure is, you know, this ascending triangle. When we busted the first resistance, we made, you know, the new the new resistance high. We came and retraced all the way back to support. And then we had to have enough strength to break this line again. Notice how this line is, is really what's holding us up. We're now playing in a new channel between these two points, right? Instead of coming back down into this area, we're playing in this area, the top area. So now, it's very, very interesting on the recent price action, right? We see the bulls are making this rally. We had a doji last hour. This this last 27 minutes will be, will be like the first hour out of this trend line, right? It hasn't escaped it yet. So this could, you know, induce a lot of bullish momentum if it closes outside this point. Now, if we go down to the three hour, we kind of see the double top coming in. So this, it was a double top before, but now it looks like the bulls have a little bit more steam. <clears throat> and since they're still pushing, It's not a double top, so it's not a divergence, I would say, really, right? Although, you know, the RSI is coming up to this point, where it consolidated for a while, which is all the way up here. I wouldn't say it's a divergence yet. It has no real resistance. We come to the three hour. This is beautiful. It's just price action and the RSI is it's a divergence left in the day. So every day if we look at this high and we look at you know these highs the rsi is like literally double topping 
Like it, it hasn't really broken out above this high, but the price action is. That's why we see so many resistance wicks coming down. <clears throat> right? If if the price action was able to, you know, have a candle close above these wicks, you know, come into this zone and hold it as support, you see how it was holding as resistance before all these areas. For the visual people, I'll show you like all this area, you feel me? I shouldn't use a line because it's more broad than that. When we see resistance, it should be like a almost like a zone. It's an area. It's an area of resistance. Because when we break through, we get this big downside candle, right? Yeah, the computer's lagging pretty bad. Not start drawing on the charts. Um that's for another day. We'll get better at that. I don't even have a mouse. I'm using a trackpad. So you know I'm real. Once I get a mouse <laughs> and a monitor and start Twitch gaming, right? We're going to start streaming and trading. So that's the new way for us in crypto down. I want you guys to all come through, take part. And we're only on the three hour, right? We're, I'm noticing, I'm trying to see this play out on the three hour. I know the four hour close is coming in. But I know <clears throat> the four hour close is coming in 24 minutes. But in this case, the three hour close doesn't close till one hour after. So I know this four hour is going to have a lot of volatility. You know, that's how that time frame works at this time. You know, the daily close is in four hours or five about. All right, so the two hour time frame. This is where it starts getting interesting, right? This is where it starts getting real interesting. Two hours at the 60 hour side. Two hours is like a higher time frame, but it's also the only time frame that we see that actually cleared above this line. And now it's using literally this candle open as a support. So if the tower could break the 60, I'll close my, my short. So we took the short, you know, when it was pretty at the resistance of the zone, um, just just to take a, a quick stab to see if it wanted to go down right away. Um, then we had the stream, so really, you know, try to snipe this one live. Hasn't really played out as of yet, but the best thing to do in your trade is, is protect it, right? Have a good area of resistance and have your stop loss set, you know, if this trade starts to not look good and it's going again, it's not doing what you suspect, then that's the, the time you want to um, you want to really rearrange and maybe move your stop loss even closer because why why even give it that that much space? Because now you see what the, the chart's doing. You see how trade could be moving against you. Um, but always, you know, <clears throat> it's all about entering at these resistance areas if you want to buy entering at the support areas because you know the market has these days these days it goes up real hard then it comes down then it comes back up just to you know be at the same high y yesterday we were monitoring like this high this high and this high it wanted to shoot through literally battle to this high and then finally break out a little bit Notice how when we wicked it, we wicked all of these supports, but interesting enough, we didn't want to come back up to this area yet. I'm not sure why. It's just like, I'm not too sure. I have a theory. I have a theory. I think we're switching RSI. <laughs> I think we're switching RSI patterns like to the bearish side now. So that's that's just my theory. But that's that's something live for the Discord. On the hourly is the same thing. On the hourly, it's the same thing. Double top a little bit above the 60. I give it a little bit above it, you know. 
the 60 isn't like, oh, it's the end all be all, has to be at the 60 exactly. No, you got to give the part a little wiggle room, right? And what do we see at the 60? We see that this point, you know, this main red dot right here on the RSI is still, you know, a pro it's, it's still a relevant point. And so is, you know, this high and this high. Notice how these highs are double tops right here. Boom, boom. Notice how these highs are double tops. Boom, boom. Right? And then the price action on this high comes up to the 60, right? It reaches the 60. And then it has a whole battle and a whole struggle to come all the way back above the 60, you know? But it's still not related to these two highs, right? This double top right here. One sec, Chris. What's good, though? Yeah, we're doing it on live. You on YouTube? Say something. What's good, man? No, you on the YouTube. Hey, future billionaires in the chat, say something, drop it in the comments, you feel me? So, just like that, look, that's what I'm talking about, the RSI reset. So, for this hourly candle, we've now just got another test on that resistance, you know? This resistance is now support, that's a support test. I'm going to call you in a sec, bro. This resistance is now support and it's now on the hourly, you know, it's actually testing the 60. Well, not yet, but it's, it's trying to test the 60 support. So we got to keep going down. Here's where we start to see, you know, a little bit more of the severe divergences and notice how we just got a new 45 minute candle. It came with implied volume in 10 minutes, we went up and we went down, right? So now we know we have three minutes left till we get that 15 minute candle close. And I'm gonna pinpoint the RSI divergence to you because on the lower time frame, you start to see it a little bit more clearly. Why I entered, you feel me? That orange line is just divergence. It's saying, you know, the price action is going up from this high to this high. And on the RSI, it's going down. So that's what I look for in the divergence. Okay, and really, you know, I'm, I'm watching Bitcoin, but I, I took this short on ETH just because the ETH to Bitcoin chart. We see the same divergence almost. 30 minute getting all the way up to oversold, can't break at this peak. Is, is you know, is the bulls gonna hold the 60 RSI again as support? That can happen and we'll go straight up. I'm telling you. Perfect little doji on the on the 15 minute. Notice how you know this 15 minute is a new 45 minute candle. So it went down and it went it went down first and then went all the way up. Now it's trying to engulf this candle. Literally retesting the 60 RSI on the 15 minute. Oh man, this thing got some, this thing looked like it could run. But this is what it does. It goes back to the top of all the candles, right? It clears it. If it can't clear it in two minutes and five seconds, then, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll be, you know, we'll have more information where this candle closes. Um, and also, you know, where it's going. But that's the, the lower time frames, really, too. Um, they move more rapidly, so you get a better understanding of what's happening, but it also is reactionary. You have to look at the higher time frames for the stronger supports and resistances. Um, all right, so let's keep going down. Five minute. Well, let's, let's actually, let me actually show you something on the 15 minute. Look at all that support. And this is the left shoulder, the head, and the right shoulder, right on the 50 RSI. 
that's all consolidation, bro. If we, you know, consolidate enough, we have enough to, you know, break back so like easy. So at the top of the stream, we, we got the bullish numbers that we mentioned. From the last stream, we got the bearish numbers. This does look like a little bit of a double bottom, but nah, man. You hold until, you know, my stop loss is right here. So it's like, it's minimal percentages, really. I'm not even giving it to this quick, because, like, why not? All right. So I'll, I'll take the loss on it, <laughs> like, straight up. It's all about your percentages. It's like 3% right there. I think it was 5% actually. And if we look at it, look at this three minute. <clears throat> three minute coming straight off the four in the RSI. That's why the low time frames are so important. They're literally so important. <clears throat> Strong bounce. Strong bounce to the end of the zone. And reaching around that 60 yard side, we gotta really have, you know, breakout or continuation here. If we want to like mark up Do not like that one. Hold on. We could be looking at, you know, two possible situations. You know, we could have like a a break out of this zone, kind of like a support retest. We retested the symmetrical triangle, right? This one and this one as a support, we break out the zone. We hit up here, clear the consolidation or, you know, some more entries. And then we could, you know, continue down. But yep, that's about it for today, guys. We took the the, uh, the position, you know, right right before this stream, live in the Discord, and now it's just a waiting game. It's it's not even about <laughs> it's not even about stressing, bro. It's just about having your money work for you, no matter how much that is. Like it's it's about opening up your mind, your possibilities to like where we're going in life or where you're going in life, right? You got to be the one that's, that's out here fighting for it. So I know it's tough and, you know, the crypto verse DAO really helped me through a lot. So I suggest you guys, you know, join and get started. Thank you guys for tuning into YouTube. Make sure to like that, like that button and smash the comments, okay? Thank you. Simon says, out of here, boy.